Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, today I'm thinking, oh, you're gone. Thinking that I'm gonna take you guys through a little work day in my life, sort of show you how I stay productive at work, my work-life balance. Um, I won't be able to like show you my work, <laughs> but I'm going into the office today, so I woke up early, oh, big truck. Yeah, this morning I woke up early. I just like to give myself a little bit of time to just not be rushing around in the morning. So I watched some YouTube and then I had my clothes picked out from the night before, packed a lunch because I don't want to buy it while I'm out. And yeah, just got ready for the day. I'm on my way into the office now. I've got to go in a bit early today, so I'm about an hour early, um, which hopefully means I can get off an hour early. And yeah, I got some few meetings today. Some that I don't particularly want to go to. Some that I'm very excited about and I'm getting to learn some new things. And yeah, I just thought this would be an interesting video maybe. I know there's a lot of content creators on YouTube who show their work as they work from home in content creation. So I thought it might be a different different perspective as someone who does work a typical 9 to 5 or 8 to 4. And my version of productivity and going into the office. And we've also got a new hybrid policy. So the standard now after the pandemic is to aim to attend in-person work <clears throat> about three times a week. I do four day work weeks and I won't lie. I tend to go in every day. I never thought I would say that because I love working from home or I did and when I was hired the majority of my work was remote but as the world is shifting back post pandemic yeah that was just the process I went for and I've honestly been really enjoying it and I think it does help me kind of switch off having a change in scenery um, and I do think I'm more productive to be honest. I think as much as I can get a lot more of the operational stuff done at home, maybe a little bit quicker. It's also slightly less engaging because, and this is just me, I know everyone else works differently, I'm not great at just like doing the same thing for six hours straight. And if I have a break or if I finish the task, having that sort of, I've got a lot of free time when I work from home. When I'm working in the office, I don't and I work better under that sort of crunch I think so I'm trying to stay positive because I really didn't want to start working back at the office but I've, I've actually really enjoyed it I think it's been really good for me um, it's good for my mental health and it's also still flexible so if I'm exhausted I'll take a work from home day but on the regular I will try to work in the office but yeah, I'm almost there now, so oh, it's such a lovely morning. Actually, coming in this early is quite nice. Um, you don't have the sun in your eyes as you're driving. So, I don't know what footage of this is usable, because I don't know where the camera's been sitting. <laughs> but, let's get a wriggle on. Welcome to a work day in my life. I'm the first person in today, so it's all dark. I had to turn on all the lights and open up all the doors. It was kind of spooky. Okay, so I think I'm gonna log on, do about half an hour of work before I have to head to this other meeting. Cue the time lapse. My curry got all over my bag. This is a disaster. Oh, we're off to a good start. It's everywhere. On everything. Okay. <laughs> no. 
I'm just doing my morning journaling. I've got my like habit tracker that I do throughout the week and my planning and goals. And then I write out my intentions and everything for today as well. My camera's about to die, so I'm not sure I'll show you right now, but yeah. Okay, so I've done my morning pages and then I'll do something kind of like this but for today. This is yesterday's. And I also use this Notion planner. So I've just got all my projects and I keep all my notes and everything in there. Excuse my nails, they really need to be redone. <laughs> but yeah. I am just leaving work now. Um, wasn't very good at like I couldn't bring you guys along to anything, or show anything really. But yeah, it's about four, so I got to go home about the same time. But yeah, this morning I did a focus group, and that took up most of the morning with a review, and then got about half an hour of emails done and then after lunch I had a one-on-one -on -one with my leader and that was awesome I would highly recommend if you have a leader and they don't do one-on-ones do it you just get so much opportunity for like development feedback kind of your place and sense of value in your work I know some of my friends don't have those and that is wild to me and and then after that I had a hour and a half long committee meeting. So that was that was um, that was an hour and a half long committee meeting. But yeah, now I'm just heading home. Also I forgot my camera at the office, so this is now a phone vlog. Let's see how the quality goes, <laughs> otherwise I'll just be refilming this. Ah, it's been a day. It has been a day. I don't even know what I want to do when I get home. I was planning on being like semi-productive, but it might be an ice cream and veg kind of evening. A realistic work day in my life. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and the parking lot's backed up. <laughs> I'm so tired. <sighs> okay, I'm home. I listened to Taylor Swift on the way home. Folklore is top tier album best one i do feel better that was that was therapeutic i'm still tired but that made, that was good that was exactly what i needed also i thought i would share my outfit before i take it off in favor of sweatpants but i've got this jacket i think it's from like simon's it's kind of like a little bit of a granddad jacket i like it a lot um don't mind the mess in my room please excuse calvin klein button up and other stories, jeans, they're from the, I don't know how, like I've never been to and other stories until I went to England this year. And I think it was like the Paris Atelier collection. And then good old platform vans and my messy room. Updated, much better.
I'm so happy. My mom ordered these for me yesterday <laughs> and she got herself a pair in blue. Oh, they're so cute. I just had dinner, so I'm gonna let that settle first and then we do a workout later. But now I think I'm going to FaceTime my best friend who lives in Vancouver, who I miss dearly and is the only person I've actually told about this channel, <laughs> except for Keenan. Um, he's the only, they're the only people who know. So if you're watching this, Erin, I love you. Actually, looking at it now though, um, it is not even five o'clock in Vancouver, so it might be a bit early. She's probably at work. In which case, maybe I will watch some YouTube. I do love my YouTube. I don't know if you can tell. I love the YouTube. Maybe it's a YouTube until 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 the wifey is free for a FaceTime. Not sleep as well later. Your hair looks so good. Thank you. Oh wait, did I tell you? <laughs> this is a fun story. I love her. That was so nice. That was so nice, soul filling. I love it. Oh, I think I need more snacks. Hello. So, I have just been doing my like wall calendar <laughs> I got this with the anticipation that I'd be working from home a lot more and that I, it would be on my like office wall and I have not been working from home so it's just been kind of chilling it doesn't have a place yet but I've just been filling that out I've got some pieces to like move around and maneuver and remember so they're there and then I'm also just gonna go through this bad boy go through my day write it down do my checklist and I think I'm gonna do some kind of like quick movement it's like 7 30 right now so I'll probably clean up my room a little bit just make my bed tidy up just do the kind of little admin -y bits and then do a little workout have a shower and try and get an early night to sleep sorry if you guys can hear everything going on um but yeah that's kind of the the vibe. Little little check-ins with myself. Little tidying. Little movement. Shower. Self-care. Maybe I'll show you guys my evening routine to wind down. You know? Just the just the chill. Cute little wholesome vibes. Yeah. Okay. Change of plan. I'm gonna go for a walk with my dad. for a walk with my dad. That was really lovely and I'm gonna count that as my movement of the day. Little workout. I close my rings. Whatever. Um, so now I think I'm gonna put something autumnal on the TV and tidy up my room a bit. Then I'm gonna shower and start my evening routine. shower, get unready, prep myself for tomorrow. <sighs> this is the most disappointing thing ever. The way I wash my face, the cleanser that I use, 
two dollars. Do you know how much money I've spent over the years trying to get cleansers that would help with my skin? And the Head and Shoulders shampoo works. <laughs> Frustrating. So I'm showering. I will wash my face while in the shower. And I'll get ready for bed. I just showered. I figured since I was talking about the head and shoulders, I could kind of go through my skincare. I will put a picture. This was my skin less than a year ago. This was like this spring. So I was like so down about my skin. It made such a big impact and I hate that because it feels vain, but it was so, it was just really, it was challenging. It was so hard and it went on for quite a few years and I would try everything under the sun and put so much money into different products and try too many products and you'd always hear like, oh, the simplifying it and the purging and the blah, 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 blah. And I would just be too scared because my skin was already so bad. <clears throat> but I also, I will say my skin wasn't like hormonal and it wasn't cystic. It was nine times out of ten I guess it could be hormonal but um nine times out of ten it was something I'd eaten basically maybe my skin super inflamed and I would get loads of pimples so I did talk to a naturopath do all of this with like guidance don't just I mean some things you can try on your own time but if you're doing anything like internal work talk to a doctor I talked to a naturopath like and we basically did like a little elimination diet for the like a couple weeks to just sort of see what I would react to. It wasn't fun, but it did kind of inform me what I might be more sensitive to. Um, and then I also just cut back a bunch on what I was using on my skin. So I use that Head and Shoulders as a cleanser um, in the morning. The Laneige Radiant C Moisturizer. I started with the Paula's Choice and that made a huge difference on my skin. But they don't sell them in stores in Canada and I forgot to order it <laughs> and I was completely out so this was kind of the closest I could find at Sephora and I've just been using that that's all I do in the morning and then SPF and then in the evening um it's a mask but I just use it as like a nighttime moisturizer it's the Laneige water sleeping mask put that on um and then these two I'll kind of use once or twice a week so this is the Laneige retinol firming cream treatment just on the areas that you're maybe more self-conscious about. And then I also use the Paula's Choice Exfoliator BHA thing. And you don't use those together. <laughs> and I don't use them every day. So um, I'll occasionally like, put this on like a pimple, an active pimple. But yeah, I had like one big one. And that's pretty much like my breakouts. I'll have like a little bit of texture stuff. Like my skin's not perfect, but I'm not expecting it to be either because it's also so much better than it used to be and I'm quite pleased with that <laughs> I'm very pleased with how it looks so today I will probably just put a dab of this on the pimples yeah I think that's might be all I need and then I might put just a little bit of this around my eyes for preventative, for preventative moment. I also will say that like the bacteria piece, like being a little bit more aware of that, like I think the silk pillowcases helped me a lot. 
I try not to use like brushes or like the things that you put on your face to wash it. I just don't. And I always kind of wash with cold water and rinse with, or um, I guess in the shower it's hot, but like always rinse and kind of finish it with cold water. And that seems to help as well. I'm trying to think what else has helped. Yeah, being aware of my food was a huge piece. And the topical stuff, like really toning down. And then, yeah, just being aware of like what's touching my face, what's going on my face. And even like, usually the pimples I'll get, I'll be here because I do this a lot. And like, so I get like a little active, <laughs> a little bit more activation in those areas. But yeah. I'm also just going to put on some lip balm. This is a Summer Fridays one. I've only got the really dark colour, so I look like I'm putting lipstick on before bed. It's lip balm. Whatever. Amida is dry. Yeah, so that piece is done. Put my pyjamas on. I'm going to pick out my outfit for tomorrow at work, so that was something I don't have to think about. And yeah. Maybe I'll make some tea. Yeah. Okay, settled in. I've got my tea. I'm gonna try not to do any more screen time tonight because I notice it's been increasing recently. I'm gonna read instead. I'm reading The Mountain Is You and the last time I read Brianna Weist's book I think it was the beginning of 2022 and I really liked the it was the 101 essays a really popular one <laughs> um and I honestly really liked it I know it's kind of like basic um but it was the kind of perspective that was like it's not all one way or the other it's it's like it says lots of contradictory things and they're all a bit like tough love but very gentle and so I'm not very far into this but so far I'm liking it I'm finding it difficult to prioritise reading because it's not Realm Breaker. I finished that on Sunday and it was so good. Oh, five stars. I showed earlier. I was putting it away on my bookshelf. It's on this, on this one. So, you know, it's good. It's been given a place on the, uh, the uh, mantle. So I really enjoyed that. And I'm thinking about as soon as my next paycheck, I'm going to go and get the second one. <laughs> yeah, probably going to read that. Try and stay off my phone. <laughs> Try and not watch TV or anything. Oh, I had a candle burning. I forgot about that. Um, and yeah. So I guess this will be the end of the vlog. I'm remembering to film an outro this time. Look at me. But yeah, I kind of went through like very basics of skincare there. My work day as much as I could show. Not very much. And just some little habits and healthy bits within my life to help me kind of stay sane. Have that work-life balance stay healthy yeah let me know if you guys want to see i could do an in-depth like skin care skin journey basically and kind of like the products that didn't work for me what worked for me go a little bit more into depth with what that looked like it was literally from probably 2019 to this year so been a while been a journey yeah anything else if you guys have suggestions for videos you'd want to see i know i showed very briefly my food but i didn't talk about it so any what I eat in their days, I love watching those, but yeah, anything you want to see, let me know. And again, all that awkward stuff feels wrong to ask, but a like, a comment, a subscribe, it all helps. If you want to give me any of those, a little, little present for me, please do. And I hope to see you again next week. Thank you so much for watching.